So you're having a hard time learning what DCAP BTLS is. I get it. You know, you're sitting in classes for hours on end, listening to lectures, that's not helping. You're reading the orange book cover to cover, doing rot memorization, that's not helping you. Hopefully what I'm going to show you is going to help you out though. Basically people learn in three different methods. Auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. You have the auditory learners. They learn best by hearing. So therefore, these are the people that are great in lecture classes. You have the visual learner. The visual learner needs to see. They do best with pictures, diagrams, demonstrations. And then the kinesthetic learners are the people who need to get their hands dirty. They're the ones that have to do it. So at a demonstration, they're like, this is how you do it, now do it. And that's the way they learn. Normally, people are a combination of the three. And you need to figure out what's the best way you learn. So basically, this video can help any of those three learning styles. But, you know, if you're an auditory learner, just listen. If you're a visual person, just watch me demonstrate what I'm going to do. And if you are a kinesthetic person, kinesthetic learner, follow along what I do. Say what I say, and then follow the same motions I do. All right, so what we're going to do is incorporate a movement with each of the acronym for DCAP BTLS. All right, so we have deformities. Deformities, like a broken bone. So this is the motion for deformities. Next, we have contusions. Contusions, like bruising. So you're going to make a fist and just kind of drop it on your arm. Don't be a knucklehead and hit yourself too hard. No need for that. <laughs> so contusions. Next is abrasions. Abrasions. So abrasions, like you're wearing away the skin or a major scrape. So abrasions. Right? From abrasions, we have punctures and penetrations. So make an index with your index finger, pretend like you're penetrating or puncturing your arm. Boom. Okay? From there, we have burns. So burns, I'm going to turn my hand over and come up like fire. All right? Now remember, burns doesn't have to just be heat. It could be chemical, electrical, radiological. All right? So now from burns, we have tenderness. Tenderness is like when you touch something, it elicits pain from just the touch. Ow! Ow! All right? So that's the movement. And feel free to make the, the sounds and the, and the uh, facial expressions because it can help. So tenderness. Tenderness. Okay? So next from tenderness, we have lacerations. Lacerations is like a tearing of the skin or even an accidental cut. Right? So with your hand like this, cut. Lacerations. Lacerations. Okay? And the last one, swelling. So it should be like this, but it's swole up. Swelling. Swelling. Okay? So now what we want to do is we want to put them all together. We're just going to say it and do it at the same time. Okay? So here we go. Deformities. Contusions. Abrasions. Punctures. Burns. Tenderness. Lacerations and swelling. All right. One more time, all together, is deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. Repeat that a few times, and those people who are mostly kinesthetic learners will pick it up pretty fast. No matter what you're going to school for, if you can figure out how you learn best with those three styles, auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. If you can figure that out, you can actually learn faster and easier. So hopefully this helped and good luck.